Okay, Arvin, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, uh, you do get some type of knowledge when you come in, but you have to be weary of who you get the knowledge from. And I'm going to use myself as an example. I came in, um, I knew I was fit to fight, wasn't really scared of fighting, not, wasn't really scared of going to combat. I actually looked forward to that. And people pulled me to the side and said, hey, man, you're going to make a good NCO, you're going to make a good sergeant, just keep charging and don't even look at them officers. That Man, that's soft people. First bit of bad information I got. Later on, hey, man, you, you, should, you should be trying to get this education, but if you soft, if you're really hard, you should be going to combat, stand in front of the troops all the time, man. That education is going to be there for you. Another bad bit of information. Here's where that information cost me. When I got out, my retirement and my disability is about $4,000 a month less than I could get. If somebody would have pulled me to the side and said, calm your wild ass down, you do this for a couple of years, and then you become an officer. When you become an officer, you go to these schools. So when you retire from the military, or if you don't retire, you're going to be at a higher position for a higher paying job because that's what the outside world is looking for. They don't give a damn how many times you jumped out of a plane or hung under the helicopter. 